What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video we're going to talk about silver spot price, we will define what it actually means, and then we will talk about how silver spot price is determined, and stick around because we'll then discuss some interesting ideas surrounding spot price and the manipulation and maybe some things you've never thought about before, so let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you want to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, so here we are over on the SD Bullion website, and this is an article written by James Anderson back in 2018, and I felt like it did a really good job uh, sort of describing spot price and all that kind of stuff. So uh, let's just start off here at the top silver spot price definition so here we go silver spot price noun <laughs> the current respective fiat currency price of one troy ounce of silver available for immediate delivery before being minted into a bullion product uh, like a silver bullion bar silver bullion round or silver bullion coin so let's break this down uh, so silver spot price is the price of an ounce of silver available for immediate delivery before being minted into a bullion product so it's like the raw silver right it's already been mined out of the ground it's already been refined so it's probably in one of those uh 1000 ounce silver bars or something like that but it's basically the price of raw silver and if you were a mint and you wanted to buy raw silver to make your silver bars or silver coins or whatever, you would buy this silver at spot price. And currently the spot price for silver is at uh, $25.21. So there you go. That's what spot price means. And from that, we can infer that basically any bullion product you're buying, whether it be a silver bar, silver coin, whatever, is going to cost more than the spot price. Because if this mint has to pay this price right here, $25.21, to get their silver, and then they have to transform it into a coin or whatever, that's going to cost money. So that's basically why all silver bullion products cost more than the spot price. So it's kind of like the benchmark benchmark or like the lowest price that silver is at any given time uh, okay now let's talk about how silver spot price is determined the fluctuating spot price for silver is actively determined by the commodities most highly traded futures contract at the time the mostly traded futures contract for silver can be the current month or it might be two or more months in the future Today, the silver spot price is a combined index or aggregate using many of the world's future market prices and trading volumes. Based on current silver futures contract trading volumes, the silver spot price is currently mostly influenced by the highly fractionally reserved COMEX and London Bullion Market Association. So basically, it is the mostly traded futures contract um for silver however <laughs> down here uh james puts in the silver spot price is currently mostly influenced by the highly fractionally reserved comex and lbma which is really interesting to note and we're going to get back to this in a second but uh let's just read this part down here it says as backwards as this may sound the price of physical silver today is mostly found via the selling and buying of virtual contracts representing the underlying potentially deliverable physical precious metal <laughs> and i like how he used the word a potentially deliverable physical precious metal right so okay let's get back to this right here because i think this is extremely important um when you talk about highly fractionally reserved uh comex trading etc what does fractionally reserved mean well when we look at fractional reserve banking most of us know that is you deposit a hundred dollars into the bank they can loan out a thousand dollars right so it's basically like a 10 to 1 ratio but with silver, the ratio is much higher than 10 to 1. 
In fact, uh, down here, he's got a nice little chart for 2016. So it's the Global Silver Exchange Trading versus Mine Supply. And if you look over here on the right, uh, it says full year 2016 global exchanges trade 180 times more silver versus total global mine supply. So they're only mining this tiny little amount of silver, but the amount of virtual contracts or paper trading that's going on was 180 times that. And currently it's actually much higher. Uh, so right now, as I'm filming, it's about 313 to one. That's the paper to silver ratio. So over 300 uh, paper ounces of silver traded for every real ounce of silver. And if we go back to the um, fractional reserve, highly fractionally reserved COMEX, you know, that seems a little messed up that the price for silver or the spot price could actually be determined by all of this volume trading of not real silver, right? It's not actual silver. If you're trading 300 coupons for every one ounce, that's completely messed up. How can that determine the price? If they put a limit on it, like they limited the banks 10 to 1, then what would the actual price of silver be? It would likely be a lot higher than it is today. So anyway, that's one of the uh, reasons why I think silver price is manipulated. I made a whole video on that. I'll put a link uh, down below in the description if you want to watch that. So if we get back to what silver spot price is, again, it's the price of an ounce of silver uh, before being minted. So it's the raw silver, and then it's determined by the uh, futures contracts, etc. So that is what spot price is, how it's determined. Now, real quick, I just want to mention when silver spot price is actually fluctuating, because as you'll notice throughout the day, it goes up, it goes down, it moves all the time. However, over the weekend, silver spot price doesn't move at all. So when the market closes on Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern until Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern, the spot price for silver will not move. And then every single day, there's one hour where it doesn't move as well between 5 p.m. Eastern and 6 p.m. Eastern. So there you go. That's when silver spot price doesn't fluctuate. But other than that, it's always changing. This article actually goes on. Uh, for quite a bit and there was a few things that I found really interesting um, let's see uh, down here oh check this out the uh, Comex silver bullion warehouse holdings <laughs> just something interesting to note look at this red line for JP Morgan they're the custodian for SLV it's an ETF and it's another uh, you know highly fractionalized way that people can trade uh, silver it's not actual silver it's just paper silver but uh, you know if you want to get into the manipulation obviously uh, watch that video but uh, let's go down a little bit farther he talks about uh, silver bullion prices versus spot prices and you know kind of why the price of bullion is higher than the price of spot down here he talks about how silver bullion prices performed during financial crisis uh, specifically uh, 2008 and this is the eBay Silver Eagle base average premium over spot. Um, and if we go down, let's see right here, it says, uh, note one ounce American Silver Eagle coins traded up to 80% above the then silver spot price in late 2008, which is kind of crazy to think about. I mean, think about the premiums on silver eagles right now it's like a maybe ten dollar premium maybe twelve dollar premium so that's still only 50 percent of the spot price right because if spot is 25 and the premium is what 1260 or 1250 or whatever then uh you know that's only half and again i guess this is on ebay so Maybe they're currently doing that right now. Okay, so we'll end on this down here. Uh, when one simply learns how highly leveraged, fractionally reserved future markets currently operate and derive the various fluctuating silver spot prices, they often simply choose to bypass electronic silver derivatives and simply elect to buy and take physical delivery of their silver bullion. 
And, uh, you know, that's what I recommend. Take physical delivery. When you invest in silver, just buy physical silver. That's what I do. That's what I've been doing for a number of years. And uh, that's what I recommend you all do as well. So anyway, uh, I do appreciate you watching the video. If you have any questions, feel free to put those down below in the comment section. And I will see you all in my next one. Silver Dragons out.